Adware is a type of malware that's used to display pop-ups and display advertisements. So attackers, their goal with Adware is to gain revenue through clicks on those advertisements. So if users were to click the advertisements, the uh, attackers would gain revenue each time that ad is clicked. Sometimes these ads are used to promote a service that's offered by the hackers. So it's usually illicit activities. Adware is often made to look like a legitimate product to get clicks. Uh, sometimes adware can be uh, deceptive and it won't actually offer a service or there's no product backing up the advertisement. It's just there to get someone to click so that further malware can be installed on the system. So the user could be subjected to drive-by downloads. It could be uh, downloads that occur when the user clicks and they load a certain page. Or they can be taken to a uh, product that the attacker is promoting and maybe they're part of an organization and they get their advertisements out through illegal adware. It could also be an attempt by the attacker to gain revenue through those clicks of the advertisement. So there's a couple of different motivations for adware. Now adware was much more common in the 1990s and the 2000s. It's less common today. Uh, now attackers usually opt right for the money. They opt for that ransomware or crypto malware. So they're not too interested in creating adware. And most users are savvy when they see adware on their computer. They recognize it anymore as a virus. Back when people were less computer literate, these types of attacks could be a little more successful. Okay, so it's less common now. Spyware is a very dangerous type of malware. Different than adware, spyware monitors user activity, and this can include their browsing habits, it can include their mouse activity, uh, their keystrokes, those are called key loggers, <laughs> their file usage, and these can be uh, created through normal viruses or propagated through worms, which are self-replicating viruses. And these are used to steal information. Usually attackers use spyware to steal login information for like banking websites or uh, you know, retirement funds. These things that are very critical for a user and maybe social security numbers. Anything that the user types in or any place where they click, their browsing habits, the, user, the uh, attackers can gain that information. So they can have a key logger and they can have a, a browser spyware. And then the attackers could see what banking sites the user is going to, and then through the keylogger, determine their credentials, their username and their password for that site. Then the attackers can conduct direct attacks on their banking information or steal their identity. This is very dangerous malware. As we talk about keyloggers are a type of spyware that monitor, they record keystrokes. So everything you type is gonna be sent to the attacker. All those search results you're looking at are sent to an attacker using a keylogger. Think about that one for a second. You really want your search history to be sent to an attacker? Anyway, uh, most spyware includes keylogging. It's very dangerous for attackers. It's a very dangerous type of malware for obvious reasons. So it can be used to steal credentials, private information, uh, complete emails. If you type up an email, all of that information is inputted through a keyboard. So. It's very important to keep your systems up to date to have proper anti-malware to anti-virus uh, software and that those signature files or that software is kept up to date with the latest threat information. Otherwise, key loggers can compromise your site or compromise your machine. 